Subtraction of polynomial functions is uh, very related with uh, addition of polynomial functions. Still, we operate terms under subtraction if and only if the terms are like. Let's see uh, the given example here. We do have uh, minus 7 x square and uh, uh, minus 3 x square. Then we are asked to operate uh, minus 7 x square and minus 3x square under subtraction. So the first thing that uh, we uh, are going to do is operating the coefficients and multiplying the difference of the coefficients by the common term. So minus 7, minus of minus 3 will be equal with minus 7 plus 3 and it has to be multiplied with uh, the common term x square. So a simplified form is minus 4x squared. And then you can subtract polynomial functions uh, uh, this way. Uh, if this is clear to you, you can add polynomial functions and you can subtract polynomial functions. So let's uh, define subtraction of polynomial functions. The difference of uh, two polynomial functions f and g is uh, written as f minus g and is defined as f minus g such that f minus g of x is uh, equal with f of x minus g of x for all x from the set of real numbers. By the way, the polynomial functions that we are considering at this level are polynomial functions over the set of real numbers. So let's do, let's do one example. We do have uh, an example just given us uh, f of x and g of x here. Then we are asked to find the difference of the two functions, f and g. So f minus g of x is uh, uh, given by f of x minus uh, g of x. So let's, let's put uh, 2x the power of 3 minus uh, 5x squared plus x minus 7 minus 8x squared minus x the power of 3 uh, plus 4x plus 5 this way. Uh, this is uh, f of x and the second one is uh, g of x. So the first thing that you have to do is distributing the negative sign into all terms of second polynomial function within the bracket. Minus uh, uh, 8x squared plus x to the power of 3 minus 4x plus 5 will be uh, second polynomial function. So it's going to be like 2x to the power of 3 minus 5x squared plus x minus 7 is the first polynomial function. And second polynomial function will be changed into minus 8x to the power of 2 plus x to the power of 3, plus, minus uh, 4x, minus 5. So I just give the like terms the same color. 2x to the power of 3 is like with x to the power of 3, minus 5x to the power of 2 is uh, like with uh, minus x squared, and x is like with minus 4x, and minus 7 is like with uh, minus 5. So let's, let's group the like terms together and let's operate them under subtraction and we'll have uh, the simplified form. 2x to the power of 3 with uh, x to the power of 3 like and minus 5x square with uh, minus 8x square, x with minus 4x and minus 7 with uh, minus 5. So when we, when we add like terms, we uh, always add the coefficients and uh, multiply the sum of the, co the coefficients with the common term and uh, in, the, in, in, the first, in the first group, we will have uh, 2 plus 1 times x to the power of 3. In the second group, we will have minus 5 minus 8 times x squared. In the third group, we will have 1 minus 4x and uh, lastly, minus 7 minus 5. So this will be simplified as 3x to the power of 3 minus 13x to the power of 2 minus 3x minus 12. So this is the simplified form. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.